Hello and welcome! Alright, this will be the second episode. So I was planning on pre-recording a bunch, I didn't end up doing it. It's been about a week, week and a half since I recorded that last episode. Uh, I was away for a little while, so... Shit happens. Whatever. We're back now. And uh, we have some major updates to talk about, um, because uh, this is really cool, actually. Uh, first off, we have minor healing potions. I used one to test it out. But I've got 99 in the game right now, ready to go to test out. So we're going to be using them uh, as we go through dungeons, and we're going to see uh, what we can do. I've decided on the name, Alros, which was from one of the comments. Uh, I've gotten into contact with that person uh, as soon as they get back to me on Discord. Uh, which actually they just did now that I look over at my Discord. Uh, I will be sending them over their 5,000... Orum, so uh, shout out to uh, Damien in the Discord. Uh, I'm looking at your message right now on the second monitor. So uh, as soon as I'm done recording this, you'll get your 5,000 Orum. So congratulations for that. Uh, we've also decided we are going to go Agility uh, as the main stat. We may spec into a secondary stat. I don't know yet, but we are going to go Agility as our main stat. So we're going to go ahead and dump our first seven points into there. I'm not too worried about messing it up. I have a couple of scrolls of knowledge left over I can use if I need to eventually. But for now, we are going to press into the agility route and uh, see how that takes, how far that takes us. We're going to try and do a heroic auger right now in light of having healing potions. I don't know how this will go, but we're going to give it a shot with the health potions and see how it goes at level two. We have some basic gear. Let's uh, give it a shot. See how. How strong the healing potions are. I also absolutely love the update, and you'll see it uh, if you haven't seen it in game yet. You'll see it when we get to the hogger fight. Uh, the UI update is amazing. I've been looking forward to having something like that for a long time. Uh, being able to see the exact health is just so helpful. Like, look at this 202, 150. That's so nice. Alright, so we're taking 26. Not bad. We can heal for 70 with the potion. So we're down 75, and this is where we will heal now. Alright, we're back to 74. It looks like we're going to lose pretty badly here, but to be expected, we did push it way too soon. Uh, but I wanted to see if it was possible, given the uh, potions existing now. I mean, it's probably possible with enough attempts, but not going to be worth using runs on just yet. But we'll take our 200 experience and go back to uh, normal Hogger's Revenge. Where we should slaughter him without needing to use a potion or anything. And potions are a little bit expensive at uh, currently about 24 and a half for them each. Um, and for those who have uh, been questing and have ingredients, uh, do keep in mind it is cheaper right now to purchase the potions um, than it is to use your own ingredients and the reason for that is you can sell your own ingredients for more orum than the cost of the potion so you're better off if you're farming ingredients to just sell the potion right now and then buy uh, or sell the ingredients and buy the potion and you'll end up with a little bit of extra orum left over uh, that's probably the way to go right now obviously maybe there's some value to the alchemy experience but it hasn't really been shown yet exactly what value that'll have so personally i'm just selling my ingredients and buying the potions off the market uh it was way more extreme earlier when i bought my potions i bought them last night for like 16 and a half for them each now they're 24.27 Ooh, a beast pelt uh since we're going to agility that is a nice find we're gonna do our uh oh and we leveled oh yeah it's up at top now uh two agility yeah, this is going to be an upgrade for sure. And we'll get another 7 points into agility. I wonder... Up a level. We'll do one more normal hogger and see what that looks like, but we might be able to push for heroic hogger now. I mean, we're level 3, we got a whole extra level. We have use of potions. We can probably take it on. Also, rings being an extra item slot is huge. 
Also, you'll notice I disabled, um, since the last episode, I disabled the companion app. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can equip rings right now. If you have it enabled, it won't let you click on them. Uh, I think that's something that just needs to be updated within that uh, extension. So just, uh, if you're having that issue, just disable the extension for now. And then re-enable it later after they fix it. Probably wait a day or so, they'll probably have an update pushed, I would guess. Uh, bullwhip. But we're slaughtering hogger pretty easy. I want to try it again. We're going to give it a shot. See how this goes. Might be pushing too early again, but we're going to see if it's possible at level 3. I mean, we've got 20 points of agility. It's pretty decent. We've got a potion that can heal for an extra 70. If we had a ruin, we'd definitely be able to do it. But even without, if we get some luck with the dodges, we might be able to pull it off. See, so yeah, we got an extra 27 HP. So we can take one extra hit, basically. And we're doing a lot more damage. Alright, we can probably potion up here. I think we're going to almost certainly need it, so no point in saving it for the end. Yeah, there's our 70 hit points already. We'd be dead without the heal. Nice. We barely managed to pull it off. And get, got a copper mail out of it. Which could easily be an upgrade, even though we're agility. It's just a lot of stats. 7, 2, 10 wisdom. Let's see, we gain some extra wisdom. We lose a point of charm. Lose a couple points of strength. We lose our two agility in exchange for seven intelligence. But we have no intelligence, so strength is our secondary right now. So maybe it's not worth it. We lose two agility. Lose two strength for four. Four wisdom and one charm. I don't think that's worth it. So I think, let's see, I think we'll go for a heroic again. See if it's possible. Almost click potion. And when you have a rune, it's starting to look more like the uh, early Pokemon games type of setup down here. Yeah, you your item, you got a special attack, you got your attack, and run away. I can't remember what it is in Pokemon games. I know it's fight here, can't remember what's there, bag, and then run away. Oh, swap, that's what it is. Oh, we don't need to heal this time. Nice. Got a bull whip. And that takes care of our five uh, free runs. Oh, Bullwhip has agility now. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they changed it with the uh, rework. So that's actually probably a better weapon now. Let's see. That goes from 6 agility, 6 strength, to 7, 2, 4. Yeah, that's going to be an upgrade. Nice. I forgot that they, they pretty much changed all items now, so... It's uh, very different. It says it requires level 4. We're only level 3 and it's letting us equip it. So, no idea there what the uh, 
what the deal is. I think those haven't been uh, implemented yet. All right, we're going to see if we can get a a, uh, a ring as well to help us out. So we have our daily free run of the Endless Dungeon. We're going to give it a shot. All right, we're up against a rare right away. This could be uh, not good for us. Yeah, I'm not even going to use a potion. We're just going to get wrecked right off the bat. We need to fight a fodder. Or maybe a common we can get past, but not a rare. So we find nothing. We get slaughtered right away. We do have 400 keys, so we're going to go ahead and use two of them to enter the endless dungeon again. Try and find a fodder here. A rare again. We're going to uh, get wrecked here. I want to try and find a ring just to fill in that slot, even if it's not very good. Unfortunate. Once more. Fodder, nice. Alright, we can take a fodder. Nineteen HP left. Uh, we'll go ahead and recover. And maybe with our potion, if we hit another fodder... No, it's a common. I don't think we have a shot. I mean, we'll potion up. Just because. See if we can get lucky. Nah, I don't like the odds of this one. Uh, solid iron band of intelligence. With our 10 points. Alright, I'll take it. I mean, I don't think the intelligence... Oh, it gives us uh, intelligence, charm, wisdom, and luck. Nice. So, hey, that's something. This is a much better ring than I got from my... Uh, I did I did the practice run on, uh, on my Dark Elf here, and I got uh, Bronze brand, ba uh, Band of Agility for 3 Agility. And that's it. And he made it to, like, floor 10, I want to say, and killed a mythic. And, or 9, maybe? I think it was floor 9, and he died on floor 10. I think that's what it was. Yeah, fought a mythic on, like, floor 8. Barely survived it, and then survived floor 9 against the fodder, and then died against an epic in floor 10. That's what happened. And he only got that. But, uh... This is cool. So this is as uh, quite a bit. So you just got unlucky with a bad roll. That's all that happened. You got a common piece of gear. So the uncommon is a bit better. So we will uh, have to next episode try to use some keys and level up, and then go for some better endless gear. And uh, I'll probably record that uh, right after this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded and set up, and then get uh, Damien his Orum. And uh, come back and record another episode because this update is really cool and I want to keep trying to push in the Endless Dungeon and push this character up in levels and make some progress on it. So I'll see you then. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.